Hey you guys, it's Pharaoh. Welcome or welcome back to yet another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my shower routine for 2023. I hope you guys enjoy and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. First thing first, let's brush these teeth. I'm using the Crest 3D White Toothpaste along with an electric toothbrush I got off of Amazon. And yes, I also do brush my lips. And next, I'm using the Thoroughbred mouthwash. And I really like this mouthwash. It doesn't have that alcohol sting that other mouthwashes tend to have, so I enjoy that. And now let's do some skincare. I'm using the Youth to the People Superfood Cleanser, and I mix that with the Natrium Benzol Peroxide Cream Cleanser. I find that this mixture works so well for me. If you're someone that has acne-prone skin or even sensitive skin, this mixture has helped my skin out so much as far as breakouts. Next, I'm going to be using these little sponges. This right here has been such a game changer for me and it's such a simple item. These little face sponges provide enough exfoliation, but they're still gentle enough. If you wanted to use them on a daily basis, you could, but I use them every other day or during my makeup removal process. I'm gonna go in with this Vaseline Cocoa Butter Lip Therapy, just to make sure we don't have no crusty lips. Now we're gonna move on to dry brushing. I've been dry brushing my skin for about six months and I do this about one to two times per week. And I've definitely seen an improvement in my skin. Excuse my hairy legs, we'll take care of those soon. So let's just get ready to hop in the shower. I like my showers to be super hot. I know about you guys. The thing I pick up when I get in the shower is this Dial Antibacterial Soap. This is such a staple in my shower routine. I believe having an antibacterial soap is one of the key things in a shower routine that help you stay fresh for the whole day. So I'm putting this under my underarms and because I don't use any shaving cream, I'm going to use this soap as the base for my shaving, as well as the razor that I use, it does have a smoothing strip that releases a product that makes shaving really easy anyways. Guys, I had to slow down this video because I was looking like a maniac how fast I was shaving my legs. And moving right along to the rest of our shower routine, I'm first picking up my shower net and I'm using the Natrium Salicylic Acid Body Wash. I think this is a great combo when it comes to body exfoliation. I like to practice the double cleansing method. So the first cleanser that I use tends to be something that provides a benefit to my skin. After that, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up my loofah. I'm using the Method Body Wash, and this is in the scent Wine Down. It smells so good. I definitely use the Method products more so for the scent. Although the scent isn't long lasting, it does leave you smelling very fresh. And I like to also add a few drops of the Dr. Bronner's Peppermint Castile Soap because it just makes you feel so fresh when you step out of the shower. And next I'm going in with the Dove Exfoliating Body Polish. This is in the scent Pomegranate Seeds and Shea Butter. This product is a whipped body scrub. Look at this texture. It is so fluffy and smooth. It's a super soft consistency, but it provides a good amount of exfoliation where it's gentle enough for me to use after shaving. And if I wanted to use it on a daily basis, I definitely could, but I use this about three, four times a week. And when I use this product, I like to be very generous with it. As you can see, I like to just lather this stuff on me because it makes you feel incredibly smooth afterwards. This is actually one of the newest things I've implemented into my shower routine. And let me tell you, I've been missing out. This stuff leaves my skin so freaking smooth. It's unbelievable.
And next we're gonna go ahead and clean Miss Mama's down there. I'm using the Honey Pot Sensitive Foaming Wash. And now I'm just taking my time down there, making sure I get all the crevices and bits and pieces. All right, and now we're all done with our shower. I'm first going in with this glycolic acid from The Ordinary, and I'm not using this on my face. I'm actually going to be using this on my underpits. I'm using this to help lighten and even the tone under my arms, and I've been doing this for about three months. I have definitely seen some improvement in the shade. All right, I'm using the Secret pH Balance Deodorant and the Scent Shower Fresh. Next, for my skincare, I'm using the Niacinamide Brightening Toner. So when I put toner on my face, I don't like to use a cotton pad. I think it's extremely wasteful, so I prefer to just use it directly on my hands. So I'm going in with this Snail Mucin Power Essence. It provides a really nice slip, and I think it prepares my skin well for the rest of the products I'm about to put on. For my serum, I'm using the Ordinary Niacinamide Plus Sink. I use this on a daily basis, and since I've started using it for the past couple years, I've seen such a decrease in my acne flare-ups. And next, I'm going in with the Faded Topicals Face Cream. This is one of the items that I definitely live by as well. As you can see, the tube is almost empty. I use this on a daily basis. It seriously helped my skin and has faded a lot of my hyperpigmentation. We do have a little while to go, but from where I started, my skin has come such a long way. Now I'm gonna go in with some hyaluronic acid. And I'm using the CeraVe moisturizer. This is a thick, heavy cream and I love it. It's scentless and I would definitely recommend it if you have sensitive skin. And now we're going to put on some sunscreen. You guys, you guys, if there's anything you know about me, I stand sunscreen. If you don't have any sunscreen in your skincare routine, Drop everything else and get you some. If you're struggling with hyperpigmentation and you're not wearing sunscreen, you're seriously moving backwards. So when it comes to sunscreen, I like to lather it on, the more the merrier. And I have a golden rule, anything that I put on my face, I also put it on my neck, my chest, and my back. Next for my body care, I'm going in with this Fenty Skin Moisturizer. It has this buttery, smooth texture, but the scent isn't that strong. So I'm adding my EOS lotion, and this is the Vanilla Cashmere. Guys, this is the best drugstore lotion. This stuff smells freaking amazing. And if you guys have noticed, I do like to combine a lot of my products. A lot of these products are really good on their own, but when you combine them with another product, it further elevates what that product is able to do for you. This stuff is really good if you have stretch marks, body acne, or if you're just a clumsy person like me. This oil is really good for helping fade all of those scars. Next, we're just going in and getting all dressed. And now, girl, it's time to do my hair. I slept like this, I woke up like this. I'm looking a hot mess. Let's clean ourselves up just a little bit. And guys, I'm so sorry that you can't see the name of this perfume, but this is a Zara perfume in the scent Cashmere Rose. And next I'm going in with the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Crush Perfume Mist in the scent 62. And this is such a great combination, but we're all set for the day. Smelling good, feeling good. I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you next time.